Right, now we've talked quite a bit about uh, locomotives on today's stream, but yes. I think we're going to have to talk about a bit some rolling stock now. And we've actually had a few updates from Helgen recently on some of their different projects. And the first of which is the O-Gage Mark 1 General Utility Vans. Now, they're actually going to be producing a rerun of these models in some of the popular liveries that we've seen in the past, such as BR Maroon, Blue, Express Parcels, and Green as well. But there's actually two new liveries which we've not seen before, which are coming through, it, which are Intercity Motor Rail and Network Southeast as well. So it's going to be great to see these ones coming back into the range. This was a real surprise earlier in the week for O-Gage modelers, but also a really welcome one. It's been quite a few years since these parcel vehicles have been available from us, and they're coming back through. They're available to pre-order right now from 169.15 as well in some real different liveries. And the actual vehicles, so there's over 900 of these built in the late 1950s for transporting mail and parcels across the UK when pretty much all the mail in the UK went via the railways. Coming through into the later life, that did start to fade away in the 1980s, unfortunately. Although you do have the Express Parcels livery in BR Blue that's come up on the screen there. And a different purpose was found for these vehicles. And actually moving road vehicles in a, a bit of an ironic twist, really, was where they headed next. So working on motor rail duties where the cars were actually loaded into the vans that you see on the screen at the moment and transported across the country with passenger coaches allowing the drivers and passengers to sit in comfort while they did it. It's a fairly incredible story really, isn't it? Something that was designed for such a specific parcels duty. Yeah. Given something so specific that you think would have needed a specialised wagon or coach or something yeah. to be designed for it, but they actually just repurposed these vans for that use. And they were pretty good at it too. It was yeah. a fairly common service that went around the UK. Um, and I believe even into the early 2000s, there were still services like that running in the sort of... Uh, southwest of England, yeah. which was quite interesting yeah. to see. And some of these uh, vans are still in use now, aren't they? I believe Coles Rail still has some, and they yeah. were used with Network Rail as well. So they've had a bit of an incredible lifespan, these really, haven't they? And it shows even up to 60 years of operation, various vehicles can be reused and repurposed and trialled on a different job as well. And you can still see them across the UK as well. And the particular variations that are coming in really cover that era. You've got the original BR Maroon and green liveries right from the end of the 1950s into the 1960s as well. Coming through that, you've got the BR Blue, which you see pretty much from the top of Scotland right down to the southwest of England there as well. You've got those coming up on the screen, both with and without the BR Express Parcels branding. Coming into the new variations there, you've got the Intercity, the Blue Grey, and the Network Southeast as well, which were painted to match the passenger rolling stock as well. So quite a lot of variety there. Plus, if that's not enough, they're also bringing through weathered variations of the BR Blue and the BR Maroon as well, which will already have numbers and weathering factory fitted. It really is an expansive range that we're going to be getting here. And as you can see from the photos, these are fantastically detailed yeah. um, vans. That end detail, which you can see right now, is absolutely astonishing. Lots of separately fitted detail and very nicely molded parts as well. You can see the separately fitted handrails and door um, door handles there as well. Lots of detail on the bogies too, with wheels and things like that on there. And on the roof, there is a lot of attention paid as well. You can see that the liveries are very finely applied as well. So these are a bit of a cracker, really. And you can see a bit of an example of them in operation here with an 08 and shunting a couple of those around in the early days. And then here's one in preservation in that maroon color scheme as well. So um, quite an interesting one, these. But that 08 picture there is exactly why these make such a perfect toe gauge model as well. We have mentioned before on platform one that you don't have to have a big layout to get started in O-Gage and that picture back there then was perfect to demonstrate that. You had a class 08 shunter, a couple of these general utility vans there as well, a small parcels loading depot or something along those lines. Really great to get in a space not even much bigger than what we've got yeah. here in the studio today as well. So that is an absolutely perfect look perfect coach to pair with the DAPOL 08, maybe the Helgen 25 as well, some of the smaller diesel locos, a couple of these coaches, you've got a layout. I was going to say, and everything you need to produce something like that is available right now from us too. Yeah. You can get that shunter. These GUVs will be in this year as well. And everything else you need to build a layout like that is available. So it's so easy to get an O-Gage layout up and running yeah. if you've never started one before. 
And of course, all the variations we've just mentioned, including the new liveries and the weathered variations, are available to pre-order right now on our website. So if you check out that link in the description, all the information is there. You've got the full specification, the release dates, deliveries, you name it, it's there as well. And we look forward to these coming through. Absolutely. I think we'll be seeing more on them with some samples later in the year as well. Yep. So do keep an eye out for those and we'll be featuring on the show too. And um, we've got a couple of comments here. We've got Ethan Amstud says, same thing happened with the GWR siphons. They were designed for milk, but yes. ended up being parcels and luggage vans. So interesting example there as well, again, of how things just get chopped yeah. and changed and move yeah. around, work, depending on what they need to do. We've got Jamie Smith says, Air Express parcels are an excellent era to model. And then we've got Railway Music Lover says, it looks like I'll have to get some of the govs in between saving for the peaks. So some good... Some really good different through. options there as well, whether you've already got a big O gauge layout on the go, or you're thinking of starting a micro layout or a small shunting plank, the govs are really suitable if you're a diesel era modeler. That's it. Now, next up on the Helgen news, we've got another O-gauge item, and you probably guess what it is from the yes. massive 37.4 <laughs> that we've got in front of us here. And this is a bit of an update on their next batch of Class 37.4s. They've actually announced that there's going to be a rerun of the two, two of the most popular liveries that they produced in the first batch, which are BR Large Logo Blue and the Rail Freight Triple Grey there as well. And these are going to be coming in alongside the new liveries, which cover some of the more modern colour schemes, which are Coles Rail, you've also got DRS Unbranded Blue, and you've got that EWS Royal Scotsman livery there. So, so a couple of those bang up-to-date liveries with the uh, Royal Scot, uh, sorry, the DRS and the Coles Rail ones. And we've actually got some fresh artwork for them too. And these are one of the most popular Helgen diesel releases for many years, matching the real life Loco's popularity as well. And quite a few, as you've already said, from the first batch have sold out, hence the rerun of the popular large logo and rail freight triple grey liveries. But to bring them into the 21st century, you see here there's the unbranded DRS Blue, the Royal Scotsman livery as well, which was used to power the luxury trains in the early 2000s. And finally, the Colas Rail livery on 37.421 there, which you can see still operating around the UK today. The specification on these matches the first release, which we have one on our table as well. So you've got fully working LED lighting, twin five pole motors with flywheels in there, the DCC friendly with the screw terminals for the wire decoders, a huge amount of space for a speaker in the tanks and on top of the chassis, fully working fans, cab lights, crammed full of details these really are the a bit of a rolls royce of models really i was going to say it's the absolute works in these yeah. they're absolutely fantastic models you can see the quality of this one in front of us and we do also have videos of them on our youtube channel if you want to take a closer look at how yes. they run too we do have some of this original batch still in stock in this right regional railways lovely that we have here and a few different other color schemes as well but of course we will be getting more of those large logo blue rail freight and of course the three new contemporary liveries coming through as well all of these, including the ones that we've got available now, are available for £509.15 yeah. each. And we're expecting the new variations to come in towards the end of the year. Not got an exact date yet, but we'll be sure to post that once we have a bit more news. So the 37 floors, they've got a bit of a special place in your heart, really, don't they, Dave? So I yeah. think you're quite excited about this <laughs> one. We're all fairly excited to see more of these coming through because they've been such a popular seller and it's such a wonderful loco too. But there's so many great opportunities, again, with either a little or large O-gauge layout with the 37.4, with them being introduced in the mid-1980s and operated right from the top of Scotland down into Wales there as well, with the class being distributed across. The difference in these particular 37s is they had a little orange box on the front, which meant they could provide electric train supply Probably to the train as well. You can just see it on the bottom right there. And that was used to power the air conditioning or the electric heaters on some of the more modern coaches, giving these a new lease of life, allowing them to remain in passenger service right up until today. The actual last 37.4 services are ending, I believe, this week as well. Yeah. So to bring that design right through 20 years into the 21st century there, but it means it's great to pair with either some of Helgen's Mark 1 coaches, the forthcoming Mark 2 coaches, the general utility vans that we just mentioned. They can operate in big rates, small rates. So perfect for 
again, pretty much anyone who's modeling 1980s onwards. That's it. Well, part of the conversion for these, it was to enable them to operate all year round, really, yeah. wasn't it? And they saw a lot of use in Scotland in the early days on some of those passenger services, but they did see some freight work too, yeah. which is quite interesting. There's a lot of fantastic photos out there if you want to be a model and inspiration of what these got up to up in Scotland, but they spread the wings a little bit and then they've been yeah. seen all over the place, really. And obviously nowadays, you can see them across the UK on quite a variety of different workings. So they really were one of the most prolific um, subclasses of the 37, yeah. really, weren't they, in the end? And it's a great opportunity to start an O-gauge model railway with one of these as well. Really iconic locomotive that, as you said, there's lots of photos out there, so you can base your model on that. Most of them come unnumbered as well, so if you have a particular favourite of those 31 locomotives, you can apply your own identity. We do sell transfers as well separately, so you can buy those at the same time and get your numbers and your details ready. But click that link in the description, full information on the locos we have in stock, such as the Regional Railways logo here, and the models that are coming through later in 2020 is there if you click now. And of course, you can place a pre-order, and as soon as we get one of those, we'll send it out to you. That's it. Um, we've got James Akers in the chat says the 37s run a lot on the Norfolk lines on the RHTT trains, which is another great one you can get them on, and Mark 1s to Great Yarmouth from Norwich. And then we've got SLD51 basically just summing it up, saying the O-Gage 37s are just epic. So I think it's we can all agree on it. that one. It's a good way. Now, it's not all O-Gage <laughs> updates from Helgen. We've also had a double O update, and this is on the Class 33 locomotives. And we're actually expecting a new batch of them to arrive in stock either today or by the end of Monday, potentially. Um, and this covers a uh, few new models in their original tooling. There's actually some really exciting train packs coming through. There's BR Blue and BR Green livery 33s with four A tank wagons on them. There's also a double pack of rail freight construction livery um, sector locos coming through, uh, two, train, uh, two locomotives in one pack. And then we're also going to have some single BR yes. Blue locos coming through as well. So it's really exciting to see some of these come through. And we've actually got some pictures for you here. So as you'll see here, those train packs are just coming up on the screen at the moment. This replicates the 33s in their original days and into the 1970s as well, working with Helgen's own A-tank models there as well, both of which have been suitably weathered too, and they do come pre-weathered. You've got the original green livery there, which is also coming through with tank wagons as well. There's actually three packs in all of these locomotives with the A-tanks, which was a really common variation that ran around Southern England in this era. Coming through into the BR Blue there, you've got a slightly different blue with the white window livery there as well that we just saw. A little bit of a depot modification. Heading back to the green for a second, we've got the late 1960s green with the full yellow ends. And just some of the examples of those A-tanks there as well in both clean and weathered liveries too. So real variety of what's coming through for Class 33 fans. And it's not just that the locos are detailed, but those wagons are very nice too. There's a lot of detail on there, lots of separately fitted parts such as the ladders and the roof details on them. Some nice weathering on there as well to showcase the uh, liquid inside leaking out yeah. a little bit down the body side. So they do look fantastic these. And it's great to see the 33s coming back into the range with some new variations and some complete train packs to get onto your layout too. But that's not it for the 33s no. this year. There's going to be a lot of 33s coming through this year. We've already seen some new O-Gage 33 models coming into stock yep. recently, but there are even more double O ones coming through, and we'll be seeing the first of Helgen's new tooling for the 33, which includes the high-intensity headlight um, 33 zeros and 33 ones coming through, and they're expected towards the middle of the year, and they're in an absolutely huge variety of liveries, covering everything from BR Blue right up to current day liveries, such as uh, EWS and a few others in there as well. And the new tooling model starts exactly where these new releases leave off at the middle of the 1980s. You've got a more modern high intensity headlight there as well. You've got modern livery variations such as direct rail services, civil engineers, Dutch, the EWS livery there too. But if you're a fan of the 60s, the 70s and the 80s, this is the time for you with these train packs and the BR Blue liveries coming through Absolutely. as well on the original models. So if you're a more more modern 90, sort of 21st century modeler, hang on, a little couple more months to wait yet, unfortunately. But if you're a 60s modeler, 70s, 80s, 
these are the ones, this is your time, and you can check out that link in the description. You can pre-order them now. They'll either be in later today or Monday, so we're getting these really soon, guys, and you can pre-order them right now as well. Absolutely, and these are available from just £126.65 for the Locos on their own. The packs are coming in with the tank wagons for £194.65, and the double pack of rail freight liveried models are £253.30 as well. So some great prices yeah. on these for the level of quality that you're getting with the models. Lots of detail in there. It's all the features that you'd expect. A really beefy motor in there, NEM couplings, nice die-cast chassis, and a big accessory pack in there to properly detail them up. But as I say, it's pretty much the year of the 33 this year. We've got plenty of double O models coming through, as we said there with the 60s, 70s um, era ones coming through first, and then we'll have some of the more modern liveries coming through too. And we've already had some of the O gauge ones, which are still available now as well. But check out that link in the description. You can find out all you need to know about the double O ones. And don't forget as well, coming in within the next few months, we have the Dapol N gauge class 33s, the second release of those in some really iconic liveries such as Network Southeast, some of the BR Green and BR Blues making a return as well. We have all the details on those on our website. So if you're a fan of the 33s and you're a modeler, there's really not an excuse at the moment. You can have an N-Gage one, a double O or an O. And all of them have fantastic models either available now or within the next few months. Like we say, year of the 33, it's, that's, <laughs> I'm calling it. Um, we've got a few comments here. We've got Clive Cobalt says, look, like the look of the Helgen 33. Pre-ordered two eighty-six zeros in rail blue from us last week as well. Some really good models coming through from Helgen for diesel and electric fans at the moment. Whether you're right back in the 1960s with some of those early AC electrics, up into the 21st century with the cargo wagons and some of the later liveries on the Class 47s. If you're a diesel and electric double O and O modeler, Helgen are the ones to watch. That's it. Um, we've got Medway Peninsula Model Railway says they pre-ordered 33012 weathered version. SLD51 says 33s are so tempting and the tankers are nice too. James Akers says, yes, 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 class 83s. BR Blue one with the white cap surrounds is my choice. Perfect for the China Clay wagon terminal in BR Blue that he's planning. So really fantastic idea there. We've got yep. Joe Light Railway says, fantastic train pack in the 33 with the four tankers. Like to get the BR Blue one with the SO tanks. And then we've got Red Shed 66077 says, look forward to the three West Coast 33s. That'll be fantastic. So there's something for everyone there, really, whether you're covering, well, 60 years of history, really. But those train packs with the tanks are strictly limited editions as well, so we don't expect to have those long. So if they have tempted you, if you want to start a little bit of a freight flow on your 00 Southern layout, now's the time to get that pre-order in because they're not going to be here for long. That's it.